Yes. Junk mail. Junk mail. It's nothing but junk mail. Earn bonus miles every time you buy. Yeah, right. Who are they kidding? Bonus. They just want to bone us. All these charity solicitations. Feed the poor, feed the hungry. Yeah, feed Bat Manuel. Charity begins at Bat Manuel's home. Bat Manuel is a terrible thing to waste. Could you shut up for just one second? I'm just riffing on junk mail. <laughs> Loved it. Arthur, I can tap into the postal system mainframe and get you taken right off all those mailing lists. Of course, you won't officially exist anymore. Thanks, but I should probably, you know, exist. Would you look at this? This one's addressed to me. Tick, nothing's ever addressed to you. Yes, I could see myself in it. Hey, look at you too, chum. We could see, well, give me that. Dear Tick and Sidekick. Hey, that's me! The League of Superheroes, the most elite crime-fighting team in the world, is pleased to inform you... Oh. My. God. Don't tell me. Tick, it says we've been selected. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, Janet, come now, don't be jealous. Of what? Of Rabbit Boy and the blue head case? No, I am one of the hottest superheroes in town, and I have never been asked to join. And would you like to know why? You're a pain in the ass. No, because I'm a woman. The League is notorious. There are no minorities and no women. Ooh, so it's a special place. I don't believe this. Tick, in a million years, did you ever think we'd be asked to join the League? In the last million years? Twice. I am the wild blue yonder, the front line in a never-ending battle between good and not so good. Together with my stalwart sidekick Arthur and the magnanimous help of some other folks I know, we formed the ying to villainy's malevolent yang. Destiny has chosen us. Wicked men, you face the tick. superhero's dream, and if it wasn't for you pushing me all the time, encouraging me, being superhuman, I'd never be invited to a place like this. Fiddle faddle chum, you're the little engine that could. I'm just the guy that lays the tracks and says, think you can. Imagine us working side by side with the greatest names in superhero dub. I've heard about this. It's the original League Manifesto. They say it's written on parchment made from the bark of the Venusian tree of life. What are you? Oh, God. Let it go. If they have tape, there's two of these. Just the champion. He's the president of the league. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> you must be Abner. No, it's Arthur. <laughs> I... Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Good to finally meet you, Tick. Howdy. Ah! Oh. <sighs> this way. Well, boys, what do you think? Superheroes need a place like this to kick off their boots, take off their capes, be amongst the right kinds of people, if you know what I mean. And frankly, you folks seem like the right kind of people. Dog, my cats, that underground submarine harbor of yours is extra snazzy. And your UFO collection, I mean, who knew? We're very discriminating in who we invite to join our little group. Only the cream. And the cream is white. That's true. Cream is white. There's no denying that. So what do you say, gentlemen? The door only stays open for a short time. And then what happens? We have to bust it down? <laughs> <laughs> we would do anything to be a part of this venerable institution. Anything? Anything. Good. So can you fellows come back here about, mm, say, 10 o'clock tonight? Gravy. Gravy. <laughs> Gravy. <laughs> how do we... How do we get out of here? Now, this guy's great. He handles all my legal affairs. What kind of legal affairs do you have? 
But Manuel is mired in much litigation. Well, for instance, I'm suing the makers of my codpiece. It was improperly fitted, causing severe shooting pains in my groin. Ouch? Yes, an ouch that will cost them seven figures. Well, not that you can put a dollar amount on Batonuela's groin area. But... Captain Liberty, Mr. Filbert, we'll see you now. Okay. What the hell are you doing here? So I've got credentials up the wazoo and a resume that could choke a horse. This is an open and shut case of discrimination. Are you sure? Captain, are you sure? Because if you want to go ahead with this lawsuit, you better be sure. You better be damn sure, lady. See, they don't give a damn if you're a man, a woman, or an octopus. You don't get in if you can't cut the mustard, honey. Precisely the kind of argument that they're going to make in court. Oh. Oh. I just, I want you to know what you're getting yourself into. You see, this is the League of Superheroes. This is the real deal. This is not some dinky little ladies club. Maybe you should join a Mahjong game, toots. Again, what they're going to say. Ah. <laughs> See? Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. You say, is that good? Yeah. Mm. Well, you certainly have insight into their thought process. Uh, insight, yeah. What do you know about insight? If you had any insight, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> Pretty girly like you. You ought to be a nice guy, get knocked up, stay at home, squirt out a couple of brats, bake a few pies while you're at it. No, wait a minute. Again, that's what they're going to say. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna make a few calls. I'll bark up a couple of the right trees and uh, I'll get back to you. I'll take care of it all. You just leave everything to me, okay? We swear to cherish and defend the honor of the League. We swear to, to cherish, cherish and, and defend, defend the honor, honor of the League. League. In the face of danger and torture, and even the hurling of our dismembered bodies into the deep void of space. Oh, that's special, creepy. And now, by the eternal flame of Valhalla, we, the mighty few, the divinely chosen, shall enjoy the exclusive fruits that belong to us and us alone. Our birthright, the glory and the spoils of our righteous victory over evil. Well, that's a long one. Uh, By the eternal, the, the eternal flame, flame of Valhalla, of Valhalla we the mighty the, few, uh, the divinely chosen, mighty few and the excluded fruity, the exclusive belong fruits, to the us, uh, us. that belong to us and us alone. That's the story, our birthright, the uh, and that's glory the and the glory of, of our, love, a righteous victory over evil. Amen. Amen. Yes, we're close now. And now, the two new leaguesmen shall assume the position. What the? Position. And we shall deliver them from the ranks of the great unwashed with 1,000 strokes each from the cleansing paddles of transformation. Thousand? Did he say thousand? Yeah. Hey, fellas. We're in. Sue them. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe it is a meritocracy and I just don't have the goods. Are you capable of kicking Arthur's doughy white behind? Yeah. Then you have the goods. Now sue them. Sue the spandex pants off of them. And not just for the $100,000 kickback I'll be receiving for introducing you to my lawyer. Do it for the thank you checks I will administer thereafter. So, how's the league? Uh. It's like a dream come true. Well, a bit hiney centric for my taste, but <laughs> they gave us these wicked cool rings. Oh, that's so nice for you. Can you believe that six months ago, I was a bean counter at an accounting firm? Yes, yes I can. Oh, Tick, is that, is that my ring or your ring? It's both our rings, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what this is? Paper? It's a lawsuit. I'm gonna do it. I'm suing the League. You're suing the League? Well, good luck. Come on, Dick, we gotta go. Ah. Sign right here. Yes! And uh, sign right here and here.
Knuckleheads, it's simple. Captain Liberty actually has a case against us. I couldn't let her walk out of the office. Any other lawyer would jump at the chance to drag us through the mud. My God, he turned this place into a mess of girls faster than you could say feminazi. You want that to happen? No, do you? Exactly. So just leave it to me. Has anyone seen the champion? He wanted a word with us. That's me, Tick. I am the champion. Yeah, nice try, fella. I don't think so. Does this help? Greetings, champion. You wanted a word with us. Yes. <clears throat> you may not be aware of it, but your friend, Captain Liberty, is suing us. You're kidding. Well, she seems to think that this league discriminates against women. Oh, well, she can be a little headstrong. Mm. Actually, I had a different word in mind. Footstrong. There you are, you snake. Look, this place is for leaguesmen only. Champion, short time no see. Uh, I believe we may have a spy in our midst. Look, you're friends with Liberty. Just tell her to back off. Explain to her she's just not league caliber. Hmm? Consider it your first official mission. Comprende? Oh, Look, well, fella, it... this is the last time I'm going to check. We'll catch you later, champ. Why don't we just ask Liberty to join the league? She's as super as the next super guy. Because she wasn't accepted, Tick. We just have to explain that to her. Don't like it. Not a bit. You think I do? Tick, being leaguesman is the biggest thing that's ever happened to us. We can't screw it up. So you gotta help me work this out. It's just not friendly, chum. Uh, you hear something? Memories. Misty water, colored memories. The way we were. Hmm. Anyway, as I was saying, oh, great. If you're here to get me to drop the lawsuit, then you can just turn around. What makes you say that? Why would you jump to that conclusion? Can't we just visit? Wow, just because we're leaguesmen. So then you're not here to get me to drop the lawsuit? Not primarily. I mean, if it comes up in the course of the conversation, we might, you know... Uh... Tell you to back off and that you're not up to lead caliber. How dare you two come into my home where I sleep and eat and live, pretending to be my friends and try and talk me out of my lawsuit against you and your cronies? Now, that's not what's happening at all. Well, then what is happening? Oh, well, you know, all kinds of stuff. Saw a hundred ants eating a grape just outside your front door. Get out. Well, it sounds like your mind is made up. You know, if you really were my friends, then you would be supporting me instead of betraying me. Captain Liberty, we are your friends, even though we're betraying you. Evening, boys. You talked to your friend yet? Oh, uh, she wasn't convinced. Damn. Not backing off, eh? Eh, she'll take money. They always do. So, what are you guys doing hanging out on this filthy roof? Oh, nightly patrol, of course. You boys aren't slated for tonight's patrol. And where's your photographer? You don't go on a patrol without a league photographer to take publicity shots. One Adam, 12. Villainy in progress to action show. Oh, ho, ho, there, firecrackers. I don't see a robot army down there or an alien armada. Geez, the guy doesn't even have a battle van. Look, Tick, I admire your moxie, but please leave the petty crime to the cops and the low rent heroes. This kind of thing doesn't look good for a leaguesman. Frankly, it's beneath us. Yes, and he's running away as we speak. Come on, man. That petty criminal needs a good swift kick in his bad pants. Rules are rules, Tick. League has a reputation to keep. We have global fish to fry. You know, our mere presence acts as a deterrent. I want you to think of us precisely as you would nuclear weapons. What, you mean we sit around, do nothing, and scare everybody? Exactly. <laughs> Invasion of alien robots. Close. Martinis at the club. Let's go. That's right, people. Sign up now and join the class action lawsuit against those sexist, prejudiced glory hounds. How many of you have applied for league membership only to be turned down by questionable circumstances? I have. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Tiny Moon, tell the others why you were rejected. They said I wasn't tiny enough. Oh, heightest bastards. But Manuel, yes, hello, Steve. Really? That's fun. Um, I'll call you back. They proposed a settlement. No. Manuel, look at these people. This case isn't even about me anymore. If I were to take a settlement now, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I will live with you in a big house with big gates to keep people like this out. Hey. Well, not you, them. Look at this figure, huh? With that kind of money, you can start your own league, an all-female league of super ladies. They could live with us in our big house. If I sell out now, I'm no better than the Tick or Arthur or the rest of them. This is not a competition. Since when did it become a competition? So, uh, wh what's happening, guys? Oh, we were just talking about Mars. Yes, have you been? Been? Oh, well, you know, we've thought about going, but it's awfully dusty, Mars. And, uh, and red. It's too damn red. You're a funny guy, <laughs> Abner. <laughs> Somewhere in the city, that petty criminal is laughing at us, rolling in his ill-gotten booty. And he should laugh, because we stink. Smells like everybody's smoking feet. You know, watch this for a minute. Looking for the wicked gents? Nah. We're just uh, flipping around the live security crime cam. Hey, 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 that's the petty criminal right there. And that's Batman Well. Oh, no. Please tell me you're recording this. It's Batman Well. This is going on the blooper reel for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Laffy jerks! Everybody's right. You're a bunch of spoiled brats. Oh, let's laugh at everybody. Let's all be mean and lazy and, and let's have no women allowed. I think it stinks to high heaven. Yeah, so you can color us girly, cause these go-go boots are made for walking you, you snobby snob heads. I'm glad we ripped your high parchment. You ripped what? Well, he, I, we. It was an accident. Tape is good. Oh, Captain Liberty. Oh, go away, you creep. Oh, you don't understand. We are here to help you. Tell that to my lawyer. We're going to. That's why we're here. Look, we're sorry about what happened. We want to make it up to you. What, are you trying to guilt me into dropping a lawsuit now? Yeah, it's a nice try. No, uh, actually, we... Steve. Steve? That's your lawyer? Best in the business. Hmm. Something familiar about that twitchy barrister. Bloody hell! Hello, Steve. Why don't you tell everybody here who you really are? Well, I'm Steve Filbert, a powerful and dangerous attorney that you don't want to have as an enemy. No, he's not. He's the champion. Yeah, that's right, he's the champion. He's the champion of the little guy and the underdog, you sellout. Amen. Steve, what, where, where are you going? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm late for an appointment. I thought we had an appointment. Okay, fine. I'm sick. Okay, can a guy be sick for once? I remember you. You're that weird guy with the glasses that kept sneaking into the locker room with the league. Go away. What sinister subterfuge are you up to now? I don't know what you're talking about. Just... Oh, you're gonna get away this time, Slippery. Ah. Hey, champion, what are you doing here? Wait, you're the champion? No, not at all. Hey, where the champion go? I'm stunned. I would've thought you'd make a much better lawyer. Darlene, get rid of these people. Darlene, how does it feel working for the champion? Champion? Oh, my God. Actually, if you take off your glasses, you do look like him. I am not the champion. Yes, but you are. Five years of selling this guy tuna sandwiches, I never noticed. Mm -hmm. Top buddy, I'm not the champion. <laughs> the hell you're not. Hey, 20 years.
years. We're friends and partners, and you never tell me. You know how much business we've lost because of you. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm the champion. You happy now, you morons? Just leave me alone. Oh, I think we have some business to discuss. Fine. Double the settlement. <clears throat> Triple it! Let's go get lunch. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm starting. Nice going. Hey, we'll see you, champ. Any calls? Well, they closed the league. Filing Chapter 11. Chapter 11? Bankruptcy. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, Janet. You brought the mighty league down. Yeah, but that means they don't have to pay me the settlement. But, 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 but our, our, our big house full of uh, super ladies. Meanwhile, they changed their name to the Superhero Company Limited Partnership and moved into a new headquarters. At least the champion got outed. Or Steve. Hold that phone, Joan. Let's review. The superhero is... The champion. And the lawyer was... Steve. And how did they know each other? They're the same person. 21 Jump Street, now I'm completely lost. Tick, Steve Filbert and the champion are the same person. Tick, Steve Filbert and the champion are the same person. Great guns, the three of us, all crammed into the same snappy business suit. How do we do it? No, Tick, no. Steve Filbert and the champion are the same person. You're somebody else. I'm somebody else, too. All right. Give me a head. Mm-hmm. 